Hello and welcome to the Community Blades podcast. My name is Lowen and I'm the host today. And today I've got my guest Millie with me. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> um, so just to go through some scores from this week, only two um, two teams played. So the college first team, uh, the men's first team, won 5-2 against Farsley Celtic. And Millie, you were in this match. Yeah. Um, the college women's B team Drew 1-1 one, one, uh, against Bradford. Was it Bradford? Yeah, Bradford. How was that game? Um, it was good. It was a uh, good first half and second half. Everyone like played really well. Like to say how warm it was. Um, Molly scored a header from a corner. Oh, so good. and we've stopped them from winning the game. That's so, good. Um, winning leagues, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So they were about to win the league. Um, if they won against us today, they would have won. So I think it was a good achievement that. We yeah, stopped that. it really was as well. So, but yeah, it was, it, was it our first proper like game back as a normal team for yeah. Malaga as well? Yeah. So we're going to talk a little bit about Malaga, um, because we played together in the B team in Malaga, um, but we'll start from the beginning. So on day one, we landed in Malaga Airport. We flew out from Luton. Oh, um, should we tell them about the airport experience with the people there, the kids? What kids? So when we got to the airport, we had to go for a queue, and what was it to like oh, check yeah, our passports? Yeah. And they were like a. It was border control. Yeah. Yeah. We there was a Spanish like school. I don't mm. know if they were. They must have been secondary, right? Yeah, I think. But yeah. they were looking at us because we was all in our Sheffield United stuff, and they were going, "Oh my god, it's Sheffield United!" <laughs> so they all thought it was the actual Sheffield United. Yeah, and, and then I think they all thought it as well, like the, yeah. the people, because we got like taken out of the line and got like through really yeah. quickly because we got like, our own thing. Yeah, like VIP access. But <laughs> they were like recording people and taking photos. Obviously, it was so funny. <laughs> But we didn't have the heart to tell them, and we didn't know any Spanish to tell them. We were just living for the five second of fame. (laughs) But um, so we then got on the coach, and I want you to tell us how did you feel when obviously we were going on the coach, and you were just looking out the window at all the you know the hills, the the houses, and then you can like see out on the sea. Yeah, it was so weird. Like, do you know how like obviously when you're driving around here, it's like house 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 everywhere Literally. these were like houses on like the very top of the hills yeah and you were just thinking like if you're meeting your mate you're gonna have to walk up and down hills for like <laughs> yeah god knows like, there was like hour. like it's hilly in sheffield but there was mountains of just like houses just built into yeah. the mountains it was crazy it was really fun though like we all got on the coach and everyone was just buzzing because we were so excited yeah. that we actually landed especially yeah. after that landing were you at the back of the plane at that landing um, no, I was at the very front. See, the thing is, on the, on the back of the plane, when we were going down, the back end dropped. Oh, no. So, for like, we were so scared. Like, people were like, there was a toddler screaming and everything at the oh, back. Dear. And I was like, just get me on the ground, please. Well, when, <laughs> when we got to Luton Airport, we, we went to Burger King because Burger King is like a must go to when you're at the airport <laughs> and I've like had some very like good memories in there <laughs> so I was like dying for like a Burger King because last time I went on holiday was like before Covid yeah. so like um, I got a Burger King and like, I like I don't remember it being this expensive yeah, but it is so expensive. I was just sat there on these stools and Fern and Libby and all them were just looking at me saying Millie you okay? because <laughs> I'm so scared of planes but it weren't actually that bad on the yeah, way there yeah like, on the way back was a bit different yeah <laughs> <laughs> so we got to the hotel we were staying in Nerja or Nerja in Spain and uh, I I think the hotel was very good oh I absolutely it was loved really it. nice so we all got into the hotel um, and we were all in rooms of two so I was with Ruby you were with um, Fern. Fern but then we ended up with Libby and Emily in our room <laughs> Yeah, so there's like three beds in each room yeah. anyway, so there was lots of swapping around and we had like a hall of beds um, and like kind of like a garden at the back and it was really nice because mm. the garden was kind of connected as yeah, well. Yeah, it was like one big garden. You had like your little walls on your balcony and then everyone could go out and I just remember in the morning it'd be like me, Fern and Libby like on the sun beds mm. and then Ben is and Shanice like coming out saying, oh, not you guys again. <laughs> and then that's when... Um, the song started off. Yeah. <laughs> so throughout this trip, the 
for some reason the tutors thought found it so funny to repeat this song over and over again like oh, one of the Josie's days, on vacation far away yeah <laughs> it's like stuck in our mind it was every time someone were, walked through the door they would like repeat yeah the song, like start it again and it was just it was it got so it, annoying. yeah it started off from fern and libby in like on the sunbeds and for some reason like this is like before anyone would get annoyed at it mm. the song would just repeating from the beginning oh, right. and then it drove them crazy <laughs> that they started shouting at him and then um, ever since then it just got um, played over and over again and it still does to this day when we landed um, well no when everyone got back home it was literally straight away the song yeah and put then into the group chat yeah and then when we were coming like because we came back on the wednesday we had college on the thursday but we started it off a little bit later because mm. um everyone was tired because it was it was such like a busy week it was, as well yeah, it was long. um so and then benners put um a voice note in of the song and then <laughs> everyone went crazy so yeah there's no one likes the tutors by the end of it let's just <laughs> say that so day two we woke up um and obviously went to eat came back and we got ready for quite a full day we had the gym session and then went straight to a football training and then had a little bit of a picnic and then went on a, a cave visit, visit to the cave of Berger. Um so the gym session I found amazing that was like one of my highlights because the place that we went to was amazing it was like it was so nice, so nice. We, the uh, coach pulled up and it was like the sea on one side and the gym on the other side. Mm. So you just like walked from the sea yeah. to this gym that was like, it was so sunny and I just really enjoyed it. Yeah, it was so nice. Like there were two buildings. So they were like, no, there were three actually, weren't there? You'd yeah, walk yeah. in and there'd be one to the side and that had all like your running machines and everything. Mm. And then you had like the grass like to do like your circuits and stuff like that. And then a little yoga bit. But it was so cool. Did you see that like bike machine and like when yeah. you pedaled it, it like fanned air yeah, out? Yeah, yeah. Not like it did much anyway, because it was so, <laughs> it was warm, so that warm day. But I found it funny how we all came in like someone had a speaker. Yeah. We all walked in all together and there was like a yoga class going on. <laughs> yeah. and we had to like switch oh. off because they were all going like being peaceful yeah. and then we're going in with like our <laughs> drum yeah. and bass music playing. Yeah, and all tutors joined in as well. They mm. all wanted to do it. Spell went for it, bless him. Yeah, he did. <laughs> I feel like all of them went for it. Like yeah. they really put like effort in and like they were motivating mm. us as well. Especially yeah. on the circuit that we did. We did one that was like uh, there was something like lifting and squatting with yeah. his weight and then stepping up and over boxes. Yeah, Ben has tried flipping my boxes <laughs> go even taller when I don't have that long legs. I <laughs> know, yeah. And then um, we were like walking with weights and then some core exercises yeah. and we repeated it with some music and stuff like that and it was just really nice. I really enjoyed that circuit bit, that was my favourite I bit. think Benners and Shanice showed us all the pump weights. So. <laughs> <laughs> they were so good. I was not expecting it from Benners, I can't lie. I know, yeah. <laughs> she had full on weight. She was, she was really good. <laughs> yeah. And then what was after, we all had like a little drinks break and then yeah. we got on coach and then we went straight to football mm -hmm. and then that were, I actually really enjoyed the football. Yeah, the football was good. Like everyone was lathering mm. up in like sun cream and everything. Yeah. And then we got on the pitch, and because I've got black boots, my feet were burning. Oh my like, goodness! And the Astro was like really quite thick. Did you realize? Yeah, well, yeah, because it's um a different one because if that heat was on like the Astro here, the mm. Astro would melt. Like, yeah, it's it happened burn. to my boots before. Like yeah. I've had Astro melted into my boots. Oh my gosh. So, but. And then I remember, it weren't that warm there when we were playing train because that's when it like cooled down and then there was yeah. a thunderstorm and Yeah, lightning. it was weird because like we started the train session it was like quite warm. Yeah. It wasn't too warm but I felt like there was no air. Yeah. To, like, it was quite stuffy. And then we looked over to the mountains and there was like black clouds yeah, with like lightning. The lightning and everything. And we were like, oh, I yeah. kind of need a bit of a cool yeah. down. <laughs> but before us it were Malaga boys or yeah. men play next to us like yeah. training and then the women's came on training mm. against us and we was all like that better not be like yeah, the we're team playing, we're playing yeah. against because they are really good like yeah. we were just i looked over a few times and they were fast like they oh, were all yeah. built as well like they were massive <laughs> <It> <laughs> like in crazy. the best way possible they were like built 
And I'm like, I hope we're not playing against them because like one pinky Mm. and I'm like down on the floor. Yeah, the Spanish knows how to play football for sure. We'll get on to our football game. But um, so yeah, after the football training, it was pouring it down. No one had a coat because no one thought, why would it rain in Mali <laughs> yeah. So we were all hood, like stood under this tree waiting for our coach to come back. And then we was all on about how there's probably like ginormous spiders up yeah. there. That made me feel so sick. <laughs> it was so <laughs> funny though. Everyone was complaining like, we need to go get our own coats. Yeah. And then we got onto the coach and went straight to the caves of Merger. And by the time we got off, there was no rain and I was like, oh, we don't need our coats yeah. then. And then... I think Spow could tell as well, like, we were just so tired. Yeah. So it's, because we, we, we were doing the caves and then we were going to go do something else, but I can't remember what it was. Um, I think we were going to go down to the sea front yeah. and, like, go over there. But I think he just saw we was all tired. So we all went back to the hotel. People had, like, naps. But then people got ready mm. for, like, dinner, so. Yeah. Yeah. What did, did you, you think of the food? It, it was, I think, you make good out of a bad situation yeah. <laughs> the, the food obviously wasn't amazing but like some of the stuff was all right <laughs> i lived off the pasta there i actually yeah, really enjoyed the pasta right. <laughs> but it was so funny i would do you know how they were like that pastry bit mm. i were picking like these things that i thought were choros yeah and i've gone oh these choros are ain't nice and then i look over and like libby went like someone told me they weren't choros oh, right. and they were choros on the other side so I was eating these things thinking they were choros and then when I actually tried a choro oh was it the mini one yeah, yeah. I, when I tried the actual big choros I was like yeah no I'm alright <laughs> stick to the mini ones yeah. there were more options for dinner than there was breakfast yeah breakfast was a little bit limited but yeah I think you just dealt with it yeah and it was it was alright yeah it wasn't terrible and like the pool made up for it yeah because we went to the caves of Nerja and it was like did you walk through? Yeah. So it was kind of like a walk through with this mm. like microphone of this guy speaking in your in your ear, and they were just talking through how each, like how it's formed. So um, so I thought it was really interesting, which is a bit geeky from me. <laughs> but I was like walking through like, oh my gosh, it this was, is so cool because it's just like yeah, science. It was one of them. Everyone was just like they've had enough, and everyone were like complaining. But then once everyone got in and we like looked around, everyone actually like got into it yeah it was really interesting like, i didn't listen to like the voice messages mm. um that one that phone but i actually enjoyed looking around mm. and i forgot my phone so i had to take up pictures on libby's camera <laughs> so yeah, i thought i wouldn't be bothered cool. taking photos but oh, i actually yeah. wanted to because when spouse said caving we went so we're doing a gym session a football training session and, and then we're weaseling through rocks, through rocks. <laughs> So we were so confused. We were like, why are we going through rocks? Yeah, after Edel, like, not again. Yeah, literally. So we were all a bit confused. And then they are like, oh, no, you're going down into this scientific yeah. place that's just... It, I think it was it, really, really it cool. It was crazy. It was so big. Like, it was, I wasn't it was expecting so it to be that big. Like, when we were going down, it was, like, quite small. And then when we got in there, it was, like, massive. It was Everything massive. opened up. Yeah, and it was kind of like... It was weird because listening to the thing, it was saying like cavemen used yeah. to live down there, and like it was kind of scary because there was like spikes yeah. coming from the ceiling. You're like, what if they just fall like right know, now? Do you know what got me? <gasps> that when he said there's like li- live animals like yeah. living down there, they, they <laughs> was like get out. Or like when they found like a goat down there. Once. Yeah, and there were what's it human remains as well. Yeah. Oh so. yeah. So at one point there was like, um, it on the thing it said, and there were, when the guys cl- came and found this cave. Yeah there was dead bodies all around and yeah. kind of like bones and stuff and Millie looked around to me and she went Logan where are the bones now I went Millie they're not gonna <laughs> keep them not this Millie a different Millie I went Millie they're not gonna keep them in here <laughs> I was like they're not gonna keep them in here just so we can look at the the remains of someone's body <laughs> well I actually I had a look as well I'm like where are they <laughs> no it's so funny <laughs> when they said live animals I went I was like does he mean spiders or like actual like <laughs> animals? It's like a fox gonna come out in a minute. I was so scared it was of just, that bit. It was weird as well because like obviously we have to follow a path, but you could see through different bits and like yeah. some of the the guy on the the voice message thing was saying that it, it, there were were other tunnels that you could go through, but yeah. it's just hard to get to. Yeah. But it was just really interesting. It was. I took some really good photos. <laughs> I was so proud of myself. 
Um, so yeah, we came out of that. Everyone went into the pool. I'm pretty sure when we got back, or went for naps. Well, I thought people would jump in the pool, but do you know, cause, like the time I got back, the pool were kind of in the shade, so it was quite cold. Yeah, we, and it, yeah, we walked in yeah. and it was boiling, and then we were like, oh yeah, let's go to the pool. Went up and then it was like, oh, it's kind of cold. Yeah. Well, I was like, me and Libby sat on the edge and like just put our feet in. I went to her, I went, no way, I'm getting in there. <laughs> but we all like, me, Megan, Sienna, Caitlin, um and Libby mm. we all just sat down and sunbathed and we were literally like rotating your chairs trying to get in the sun yeah so. but it was nice and yeah. then um Emily was so desperate to push someone in that I pool. know yeah even when we like first arrived she was like there's yeah. a pool someone's gonna get pushed in yeah like, oh my God. she was trying to get Libby in and then she was trying to get me in and then someone was so close um to push and it was either Emily pushing Fern in or Molly pushing Emily in, but they yeah. were so close. <laughs> and then, let's just say, we'll get to it later, but at the end, um, they got what they wanted. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, I remember getting in the pool, because I was like, I brought my bikini. But did you go in it? I went in. So we, like, we literally, as soon as we arrived, we all ran downstairs, got our bikinis on, ran back up and went in. Because really? we were like, we wanted to experience, like, going in the pool. And then we went some moving afterwards. Because we were like, we need to heat up by something. Yeah. So, we, I was like, oh, I'm just going to get in through like the side. Mm. Evie just jumped in. And oh, I was yeah. like, and she was like, oh my gosh, I regret that because it's so oh, cold. yeah, <laughs> someone was telling me, um, what was it, Zay Zay and Evie yeah, had Zay that Evie had like races in the pool oh. as well. And it was just, yeah, it was really good to oh, have like dear. some time just to like kind of relax. Yeah. Um, and then we went out and visited like the seafront of Nerja. Yeah. we got to go out a little bit later oh, obviously it was, not out, out it was but. so weird because like we all put like a shorts and tops on and like dresses and stuff like mm. that but we forgot because it's like the beginning of their year mm. it like it's cool in the evening yeah. but when you get down to the front because everyone's cooking food and everyone's mm. there it got so warm it did get warm yeah, yeah. It, it was, was really so nice. nice i bought so many bracelets I know. yeah and like the little shops going down to the sea yeah was so cute like there was a jewelry shop that was really pretty and they had like a little sale on and yeah. i was like a sale is for me i was <laughs> there i was like yeah i'll get some spanish jewelry I, I really enjoyed it down that front yeah it was so nice it was and then that little bit where everyone was taking photos it literally looked like something on mamma mia yeah so. yeah so there was like a bit that was kind of like an archway with railings and then it looked out onto like the sea and mountains yeah. and it was so pretty yeah because we when we got there we got told that we needed to meet there and then um after like a couple of hours meet there and then we'd head back up to the hotel mm. nobody left that <laughs> area everyone just stayed there and got so many pictures but it was so <laughs> nice it was really nice um and then moving on to day three everyone was pretty much dead at this point oh yeah no sleep everyone 100%. was hanging um because they were just so tired um so we went to Granada Stadium. I so remember being on that coach. Yeah. I would think I didn't think it was that far, but then I was like, why have you been on this coach for so long? I know. Long? I was like, oh, we're just going on this coach for like 10 minutes and then we're going to be there. Yeah. And, and then, then I saw like snow on the mountain. Yeah, so we were going through like the motorways, which the coach driver was going really fast, by the way. Did yeah. you notice that? It was like, it was really fast. I, I was so confused by roads. I didn't even realise oh, no. that it was on like the wrong side of the road until like... <laughs> We got to roundabouts, so I went, hold on. Yeah. I'm like, this isn't right. <laughs> I know, it was really funny. And, like, we were on that coach for an hour. Yeah. We went to Granada Stadium. Like, half of us went in, half of us went around the area of Granada Stadium. Yeah. Um, I went around the area first. We went to a cafe. Yeah, we had to I try did. And... That was <laughs> so funny. It was. But who did we have? We had sellers in our group for us didn't we yeah yeah and spow and they went right you can go up and find a mc there's a mcdonald's you can go up there the mcdonald's closes at 12. i know the mcdonald's yeah. wasn't open and, and everyone was like what do yeah. we do and we were traveling so like far down this path and nothing were open yeah. like there were shops so we all went in the shops but because that's like more like the set like center of granada mm. none of them spoke english no none of them so spoke like english. so we like we went into a corner shop and we were trying to buy stuff and 
we have to be like, how much? <laughs> like, yeah. but type it into the calculator how much we need we to We wanted pay. to get like a proper lunch and we went in like a cafe and I went, yeah, no, let's get out. Because it was literally just Spanish words and you just so, like, oh, that was just taking ages to order and translate it all. I know, because Ruby and Amelia, we went into a cafe with them and they were like, oh, they, they had like massive croissants yeah. and they are like, we need to get one. So they had to be like, pointing at yeah. them going two please <laughs> and it was so funny because we were trying to sp- like i kind of felt bad that i didn't speak spanish yeah so i wanted to like i don't know i feel like it's disrespectful but obviously it's not yeah but it's just it, i felt bad i felt like i needed to know a bit of spanish you know in your poor yeah <laughs> i was like gracias, gracias. <laughs> Um, and then we went into Granada finally, the stadium, and I think that was another one of my highlights. Yeah, it was, it was so, so nice. nice. It, but it's so weird, like, so like when you go like Bramall Lane, mm. like here, like downstairs, like when you go in the stadium and you go round, mm. it's all like, like the food and your drinks yeah, that you yeah. can get. Whereas there, there's none of that. I know. Yeah. That's literally where all players and all stuff go yeah. through. So yeah, exactly. Like it's like behind the stands was like the back rooms yeah like, it was weird but the like changing rooms they look nice yeah the changing rooms were good we had a little like tour of where the yeah. media p- people went as well and then into like the vip sections looking down on yeah the, that was so nice it was, it was literally so nice. like glass everywhere yeah. and, it, and then they had the some trophies in yeah, there as well yeah. and then a massive badge and like a shirt it was really nice yeah and then like we were looking down from like that glass onto the pitch and we we're mm. like what are those like the seats right in front of us not the seats where you were sitting and we realized it was the the cameraman's seat yeah and it was like you could see it was like rotating in the yeah. wind and he, it was there was no seat belt and it was literally yeah. like on a cliff yeah and it were like the away fans they were all around the stadium so it were, like you'd have your main bit and then in each corner of the stadium yeah they were all away fans but it was so close together yeah so i i just can't imagine like what games would be like then it, and libby said if this was at bramall lane there would be too many fights outside yeah, the stadium literally. because like everyone was somewhat mixed yeah it was just really weird but it was a really nice stadium like mm. when we were in the top bit you could see over the stadium and like into like granada mm. and the the mountains and everything yeah. well when we were telling the one of the malaga like coaches mm. like about bramall lane it literally sounded like heaven to him yeah that he wants to come over and look at them <laughs> yeah so which i think would be quite good if like the malaga people came over here yeah i think well so too. i know one of them i can't like anthony or something like that. <laughs> i don't know i don't know his name properly <laughs> but like he went oh you were just up in malaga i went yeah but they've They've just been to Tottenham. Right. Like, they go to, like, more yeah, London. Yeah, I saw that, yeah. So, which, I mean, I don't blame them because, like, Wembley's there, so I bet they yeah. get to go around that. Yeah, so, yeah. Which would be good. Yeah, so it was really good, and then we came out of there, we went for some food. Yeah. And then we went to, I don't know how to say it, Alibram. Yeah. Alibra Castle. Yeah. <laughs> it was so nice. Yeah. But we were getting so many weird looks walking around in Granada, weren't yeah. we? Yeah. Because they were literally in, like, full-on poofy coats. Yeah, and, like, <laughs> like, they were, they were all wrapped up like it was snowing, yeah. like it is here in Sheffield. And we're all there in, like, like shorts, shorts and crop t-shirts, tops yeah. and that. And we're just getting so many looks. And that was so funny. <laughs> but I really enjoyed the castle because, like, when when we got off, like, when we were about to get off the coach, Spa was like, wait, everyone, just stay here for a second. Mm. And he was like if you get given a rose do not take it it was like do not take it and we were like oh yeah i was expecting him like him to tell us that it's like poisonous or something yeah yeah (laughs) but it was because it's like a scam thing yeah once you touch that flower you've literally got to pay them the money yeah like legally as well you've got to pay it 30 euros something like that and like for a single like flower that's literally been picked off the floor (laughs) yeah like it was mad and i i didn't get anyone coming up to me but apparently it's, it's like loads of kind of grandmas i kind of wanted one of them to come up to like, me. i can't <laughs> lie i want to know what these flowers like, look like old ladies like so you kind of feel sympathy for them yeah. and take the rose off them and like oh that's sweet and then she's like give me money <laughs> so we were like okay i really wanted to see one so I bad i want to see what was so special about these flowers i know but um, I, re- I remember when he said we were going to castle i remember just looking about like i don't see a castle i know yeah it, it didn't feel like a castle yeah because it's literally that ma- it, 
because when you hear castles like when you think of it it's like I wouldn't even say Buckingham Palace because that's like a massive No, house. it's like ridges and yeah, it? and like it's like block like building. This was like a circle. Yeah, it was like a circle, and, but kind of like square on the outside. Yeah, it was really weird. It made me think like if people lived that, I wouldn't like where the hell like was everything. And then yeah, because it was like there's not actually that much space, yeah. and then there was like that massive hole in the middle. Yeah, that was that was quite nice to be fair. The yeah, in the middle. Is is one of them like because we was all tired. Like people obviously like oh, I don't really want to go and stuff like that. But when you when everyone got there, they were like phones out. Photos, yeah, enjoying it. Yeah. And everything, yeah. I know Megan definitely was with the tan. Yeah. She was loving it. <laughs> everyone was trying to get a tan at that point. <laughs> um, and then we from the castle you could walk down into like Granada City yeah. Centre and it was really really nice but it was so steep we were almost like falling <laughs> yeah. down the hill um but we got like an hour in Granada City Centre so obviously people went to McDonald's yeah <laughs> and we went around and then we had a meeting place to go to the mall we were trying to find like places like to eat like mm. or like have like you know some like drinks and stuff like that mm. Cause I everyone was so thirsty yeah, and everything, yeah. so, um, but we couldn't find anything. But we found a cafe, um, for Sin and Libby, and they got churros. And then we found one for me. <laughs> oh, this was so funny. <laughs> so, uh, Sienna was in there, and I like well, none of them spoke English. So I like well, what do I say for like a crepe? Cause I just wanted yeah. chocolate crepe. So she was like, oh, can we have two, please? I've already ordered one. And you're like, yeah, yeah. And all of a sudden, I get these two cups of, like, melted chocolate. I'm thinking, what is this? And next thing, he comes out with two choros. So he's charged me and Sienna for two choros. I'm like, no, 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 that, that's the wrong one. Because that's why we were so late to this, like, shopping centre. And they just, like, do you know, because they couldn't speak English. Yeah. We had no clue what was going on. We had to stay there because we didn't know what was going to happen. Um, if they were going to, like, charge us more yeah. money or stuff like that. And then they finally come with some, like, my order... And we couldn't even sit down and eat it, so I had to eat it on the coach. Yeah. <laughs> so, but it, it was worth it, it was so nice. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so we went to the shopping centre, but I think by then everyone just felt so yeah. dead. It like, was... I barely went round. I went round, like, once, and then I was like, no, I need to sit down. It was, it was, so, it was like, hard, really, because you'd want... It was such a nice shopping place. Yeah. There were so many shops. I wish that were there. Yeah. Like, I wish that was our meadow wall. Literally. Um... I like birch going and everything. Yeah, and like, like, like pulling bear. You find them more in like Liverpool and Manchester. Like, there's not really any of them yeah. here. Yeah, and it was the biggest mall in yeah. Spain, actually. But so it's not like you could buy anything really though, because everything were more cheaper. Like, mm. if you were like to pay in your card, you'd see how like cheap it actually is compared to here. But mm. it was one of them. You'd have to put it back in your bag. Yeah, that's and what I was yeah. thinking. I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna fit this that, in my bag. That's where. When I packed my stuff, that's why I made sure I got a bit of space. Right. I only ended up buying a bag there, and that weren't even like. Yeah, and you could kind of flatten men. it down yeah. as well. That was from the men. <laughs> the front, <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, that, <laughs> it was they so were funny. The highlight. I, I said to Finn, I went, Finn, I want that bag. <laughs> so he legged him down and said, wait, wait. <laughs> and then he was like, oh, come with us, uh, come with me. And then <laughs> me and Fern just stupidly just went with it anyways, <laughs> not knowing what could have happened. I just wanted this bag. <laughs> and we had to bargain and we were like, oh, it's the last night, even though it weren't. But yeah. I got it in the end. Oh my gosh, the amount of, of them that came up to us, it was like glasses, <laughs> handbags, oh, it was so funny. hats. Little spinny toys as yeah. well. <laughs> and like, I found out that I'm very good at haggling because like, there was 20 euro sunglasses and yeah. Evie was like I want some sunglasses but I'm not playing, paying 20 euros yeah. for like fake Gucci sunglasses so yeah. like right Evie I've got this and the guy came over and I was like and he, I went how much for this one and he went 20 and you just have to go oh no <laughs> yeah, too much too much and then he goes oh for you I do 15 and I'm like <laughs> too much too much and then I go 5 and then he always goes oh I can do 10 and yeah. then what happened is I went, no, I'll leave it then. Yeah. And then he went, seven? And I went, oh, no, leave it, it's fine, see you later. Mine... And then he went, okay, five. And I was like, yay! I think mine were like... I've just got mine on <laughs> Mine were like um, 45 euros right. for my bag. Yeah. And like, say it's a fake, you're just like, like why yeah. that much? Yeah. So, Finn got to thank Finn for this. <laughs> She's the one who got it cheaper for me. She's like, so last night and blah, blah, blah. 
So then you're like, oh, I'll do for 35. And we knew we weren't going to get any more cheaper than that. Mm-hmm. So we were literally like, I had to open my purse book because I had all my euros. I literally had loads of euros left as well. <laughs> I had to like fold it up so it could yes, see you could my see money. Because <laughs> I didn't think that bit through. But I, like, I was getting told that, oh, you need to bring this much and that much. But I've come back with loads left. Yeah. Because it yeah. weren't that expensive. But it's like, the, oh, the McDonald's. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that. That, I think that's my top memory in the middle. Really? Ones. Yeah. <laughs> so I got this, um, well, that's when everyone in the back would call my burger green. <laughs> <laughs> so I bought, what was it? I got an extra cheddar cheese burger. Right. So I had melted cheese on and like oh, every, right. oh, it was so nice. But you're like a brioche bun. Oh, so it was okay. a sweet bun, but yeah, it looked yeah. green. So everyone was like, why are you eating a green burger? <laughs> like, I don't think that's all right. <laughs> but it was so nice. And then there was a Dunkin's, and the Dunkin's were cheaper mm. as well compared to what it is yeah. here. So I was like, oh, yes, I can live my Charlie D'Amelio. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I actually really enjoyed the McDonald's. And then we went again on the last day. Yeah, I think, <laughs> I, I don't know. I felt like going to McDonald's when we were in Spain was like, should we be doing this? But like everyone was so excited yeah. to like try the things that they had. Yeah. Um. But like you know, with your bag. Yeah. I remember you telling me that he offered you forty five to start with, and I was like, I mm. swear someone else bought it for thirty five. Yeah. Because he started the price differently for each person. Yeah. Well, someone got it for twenty five. Yeah. So I'm like, <laughs> but I was just like, I didn't care. I had loads of euros left, and I thought, well, I might as well spend it on summer. Mm. So. Because the bracelets were only cheap and I really yeah. them. I'm really so, ne- I hope they never break. I know. So um, we went after the shopping centre, we all met up. By this point, loads of people just felt really tired, but we oh, had yeah. the matches. So I, I thought I was so good for this. I was like, right, before we meet up, I'm running to this sweet shop. And I yeah. was like, I'm getting loads of pick and mix sweets so we can like get some energy in us for this match. I was like, I don't even care how much this pick and mix is because usually it's so expensive pick and mix like abroad or just like yeah. like American sweet shop places. So by that point, I was like, I don't care. I'm just gonna like, mm. and it wasn't actually that much. I got a massive bag of pick and mix sweets for about four oh, yeah. euros. So I was like handing that around the coach, like guys, just get your like energy levels up for this yeah, match. Whilst I were in charge of the speaker, yeah. I, I was on strike two. I didn't make it to strike three with the music, <laughs> so I'm quite happy about that. Yeah. So uh, we dropped the A team off at their match, and then obviously we went to our B team mm. match. I think our B team match is one of the best B team matches we've ever played. Oh my goodness, it was so good. Like. I, I don't know about you, but like, do you know when you're playing like on a pitch? I've, I thought that I was going to be dying, do you know, because mm. like the heat and everything. Mm-hmm. But for some reason, I felt like I've never like breathed better on a yeah. pitch before. Yeah. And like, I don't know where it was. We had sellers. Yeah, our, we had sellers on yeah, our pitch, which, which was like weird, but the kind of good. Best to, thing yeah. ever. <laughs> but it was like, it was good because we we liked him as a person. Yeah. And I thought like everyone just got along with him. Yeah. So everyone listened to him. And he said at the start, like, guys, you know more about this team yeah. than I do, so you guys have an input as well. Yeah, and they were like, Shanice and Sellers were like, it don't matter if you lose, you've come out here for, like, the experiment, mm. like, experiment, like yeah. to play football and see if it's, like, if this is something you want to do. Because yeah. it, it is something... They pay, like, quite a bit, though, yeah. to go up there. Because yeah. it's, like, us, it's, like, a college, and they do, like, year 10, year 11 there. Yeah. And, but you still got to like be good to football to get in and then they'll provide you the education mm-hmm. but um, I think the match was so good yeah we, it was really we watched good. the Malaga um, boys team mm. before us mm. and that's how that guy knows me as well he oh, messaged, really? yeah he, he was on um, he went you were just in Malaga and you're like I was like yeah was that? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, you know <laughs> and then I realised it was him um, so and then but the women's, they, they were really good though. Mm. But I thought we had like such like a better team though. Like, yeah. Although they were playing football, we were like, we were playing like football we as well. We were like, I feel like we were set up so well. Yeah. And we all, for some reason, we like, we had no energy, but we had so much energy in the match. Yeah. Like everyone was just giving a hundred. Yeah, every, everyone like really hyped up for it as well. Yeah. Like, cause, when you're playing flight for college, like it's more competitive. Mm. Like you, 
your like coaches and managers are more like at yeah like you've you got need to, to win this or put like, in everything yeah we, we did still like put in everything but you like they knew straight away like this is like an academy team yeah. like they knew what was gonna happen but to be fair like we thought like from past like fixtures from our like b team we thought we were gonna get like battered by like well, yeah, 20 we thought, nil like <laughs> something like digits, that it's not gonna go well but it was only four nil weren't it yeah like, i think it was really cool. like to say it was an academy like that's really good and so we had one of their goalkeepers in our oh, goal i felt so she, bad she was really shy and she didn't know any english at all so we had to get google yeah so, it up. <laughs> someone would go to play it but then we were like no don't play it because then it would be like a bit rude yeah, so we're like we were a like, phone to speak to yeah. your language <laughs> we were like typing it up and like showing it at her and, yeah like, and she was like <laughs> yeah we had to learn ref because the the ref oh, the ref when oh. even the ref it was their coach and none of them spoke English. So you were literally like, if you want, like, if it were offside or if you wanted to make a sub, you had to go, red. Yeah, you had to, like, <laughs> like wave at it. And, and, like, when we needed a substitution, we were like, and we had to get, like, tap one of yeah. their plates to get her. And uh, I got really annoyed by it because I was like, she was also talking to the players on the pitch, yeah, telling them it, what to do. Yeah. And we were like, this isn't fair. Yeah. And then when they were offside, and we were like saying it's offside and she was like we're not playing offside and stuff like that yeah. like, she was like no and then we were like yeah, yeah. <laughs> so then we started playing offside because then it was like a proper match because i bet i bet for them because they're like the level they're at it mm. probably were like a training like practice training match yeah. for them. but obviously we wanted like the experience but it's like malaga academy is such a good like layout and stuff yeah like it's that. a good setup isn't it i really enjoyed the match i feel like when we got there, mm. I was like, I guess it's going to be all right. Everyone was a bit sad that ours wasn't getting streamed. But yeah. I feel like if ours was streamed, it would have shown, like, everyone how good that team actually is. Yeah. Because we played at such a good standard, I feel like. Yeah. That it was... I'm not going to say A-team level, because it wasn't, but it was so close to that level. Yeah. Like, like from playing, like, both teams, A-team and B-team, mm. it's like... A team is so competitive, it is so it's literally you got to stay composed and like, obviously like, the A team is so good. Like mm. they win, like we begin the season like winning. Yeah, they were top of the league. Yeah, for, like, top of at the least league. half of yeah. the season. Cause that's when I played for them, and then it was like, really good. We was on it, and then obviously I got injured. <laughs> <laughs> Both knee and ankle that were horrible, <laughs> and then um. So then I was out of football, and then I had to watch the B team games. Mm. But you can see like the B team wants it. Like you know, you know, like you're probably not gonna come out as best because m- that's when people started to start playing football yeah. and stuff like that. So we had no subs. So at the minute, the B team is A and B mixed together. Yeah. So the B team is still getting their game. Like obviously, the B team people are like like the main focus, like yeah. to make sure they're getting the t- time and like yeah. they've missed. So it's been, it's they've had a really good game today. Like yeah, but it's not. But I think it would be good to have the A team help them. Yeah, like, it's something like we need. So justice went in there. Oh yeah, gosh, she she had a really good game actually. Yeah, it, it was so good. So, but and it was nice. I like just from playing like A team. I generally felt like when we played abroad, mm-hmm. it was like that. Yeah, like, it I've nev- was. I've never seen like. Normally the heads would be down before the game. Yeah. But everyone's heads were up, everyone was excited and stuff like that. And I, I think that's think what so. helped. Yeah, it was like... Yeah. Because with the B team, before, we were playing and it was just kind of like, I don't want to play. Everyone was yeah. kind of like, I don't want to play because mm. we know that we're going to lose against, you know, like Man City yeah. A and stuff like that. And it always got in our heads and no one played as a team. Everyone shouted at each other. And I feel like in Malaga, for some reason... Everyone just got along. Everyone got along. Yeah. Everyone was like, it's okay, keep going. Everyone tried out mm. new things, new positions. Shanice tried out football yeah. with all of us. <laughs> Shanice was actually so good. She was good. very good. I was like, yes, keep going. Yeah. And it was just, it was really good. Like, I got really, like, probably too into it. Like, really passionate about it. Yeah. But it's because I was so excited that we were actually playing at such a good level. Yeah. And, like, it was kind of sad that, like, that's kind of our last game. And we were playing at a level that we should have been playing yeah. all season. 
but it was so good like i had a sh- it was hard to get shots on net like mm-hmm. the ball mainly stayed like in the middle of the pitch mm-hmm. like it halfway. was quite end to end at the same time yeah so. so i had a shot on net and keeper put it over at bar yeah so i was like damn it like that was a great <laughs> opportunity i know i was like on one of them i had a shot from like quite far out as well and keeper just caught it and i was like oh, yeah this is so sad because obviously their keeper was so good i feel like if they didn't have yeah. as good of a keeper we could have got more mm. shots yeah in. like it was such like although i've injured from that much yeah. big time oh my gosh yeah um like i think it was still good like when when it obviously happened to me like the keeper mm. like booting ball in my ribs and like <laughs> studs in my yeah, ribs as well um i still wanted to play yeah like, i did not want to come off i, I, I was can see how frustrated it. you are you were like yeah i'm hurting but i really want, <laughs> I to, really want to play <laughs> and then it generally got to a point where my shoulder were like jarred i like i need to come off i can't <laughs> move and then we was on coach yeah on the coach on the way back it was just like the vibes were so good even though both teams yeah, both lost teams everyone lost. was so excited for no reason with that promised pizza all so excited we forget it's not english pizza and this blue cheese on it and everyone was like no so i i was enjoying it yeah but we had some of um the girls that played for the a team from mm. malaga they were on our coach because our hotel's near to us they yeah. were like telling us everything and like because they were american as well weren't yeah they? one i think one was australian right or canadian i don't know but one were definitely american I don't know about the other two. The yeah. one, the one with like ginger, longish hair. She yeah. was American, but she was like telling us like like the trends and stuff like that, and asking us about stuff. I bet they ate the pizza there. Yeah, <laughs> I bet they enjoyed it. I but mean, the pizzas were massive as well, and but when we opened the box, we were like, it's not caught, and it was a yeah. massive pizza. We had to like rip off. It was so funny. Yeah, I I don't think I had all that night actually. <laughs> I think. In fact, breakfast, I had so much to eat, and then mm. I had a, and then we went to that restaurant, yeah. and then we went to that M- McDonald's, I had the McDonald's, I had a crepe, mm. I had so much that day, I'm not even going to lie. It was, it was, was just, good, though, it was just really yeah. late, wasn't it? When yeah. we were on the coach, it was about 11pm, but then we realised, we're still in Granada, we've got a long yeah. journey back. But it was. I felt like it was quick on the way back, though. Yeah, because we had, we had sellers doing a bit of... Um, karaoke on the way back oh, <laughs> and then um the american malaga girls were like started doing some as yeah. well <laughs> they they've obviously never met sellers before and i think they absolutely loved it yeah so <laughs> but we got I mean, back to, couldn't, yeah <laughs> we got back to the uh, hotel at like 1 a.m or like half 12 so i was so dead i was like get me in the shower and get me to bed <laughs> i literally went I into the shower and went into bed straight away i was like I'm oh my goodness else. the showers that was the best thing i've ever had ever they were, the, the pressure the water pressure was, was so good it was after training um and when we came back from hotel we were sitting chill by the pool for a bit and then mm. i thought right I'm, I'm gonna get a shower mm. before we go out and as soon as i went in the water on my head i was like oh my god i feel like i'm getting a massage yeah, it, it was, was so, so nice. nice and then um so obviously day four is when we went back home yeah which was so sad like the vibes were down everyone was sad to be leaving i think as well everyone were like trying to pack that was so stressful because obviously we had um um libe Mm. in our room as well and so and what was it the last night yeah everyone came into mine and fern's room right to sit on like the balcony and like sit in our room so they were like because i wanted to like pack everything away and stuff like yeah. that but obviously like my shoulder kills well but i've got oh justice do, do you know what happened no. so i got back and justice like what florida water i think the spray was right and she put it on my back and then she full massaged me like my oh, back that is amazing. I, if uh honestly god like justice massages it's the best <laughs> thing ever all of us are sat in class all the time saying just this <laughs> like <laughs> that's one of the reasons i come to college sometimes i just think oh i really want to massage with just this but yeah she like because it was like locked in and mm. she got it out oh, that is and it so felt good. so much better it was just like obviously my ribs that were like really sore mm. so um and then obviously I, I thought i'm not gonna let it ruin my last night so obviously we all carried on but then we're like we've got to pack 
And um, so. I went, I was like, I'm just going to go to bed and do it in the morning. So yeah. I got up at half eight. I packed everything in 10 minutes. I don't know how I did it. I was stuffing yeah. stuff in there. I thought it was going to be so hard to ta- like pack everything mm. in our room. Because obviously we had everyone in there. And mm. we had two more people sleeping in there. Yeah. And our room did look like a mess. I can't <laughs> lie. But um, when we um, started packing, it was actually quite easy. It was all done. No, yeah. No one left anything. I think Evie left a the top there. But I don't think she's bothered about it. No. Yeah. So. But, but then when we were at the airport, everyone was just so Everyone like, was so done. Like, like, everyone, like... Just get me on the plane, get me yeah. home. <laughs> and it, it was actually really nice, I think. Like, their airport. There was so mm. much to do. Mm. I, bought, <laughs> I bought a packet of crisps, like, a really big size. Yeah. And I was sat next to Spout, like, after the... Uh, like, on the plane, he, like, mm. asked me, like, oh, what would you do next year? And stuff like that. Mm. Um, but my, I just hear this massive pop. It's my crisp. Yeah, they've got it. They went as a balloon. Yeah. They pop, and I didn't know that. Like, no one told me. But do you know what my favourite bit? I can't what? lie. Do you know on the way back on the coach, and we all went to M and S. Yeah. Oh my god, I got sushi. Everyone a got a platter of food. Everyone got loads of food because obviously, like, it was like we can't lie. We were picky eaters, but like, <laughs> like in a breakfast, or literally like a full breakfast you could have. Like that's all there was, or like, um pastries so everyone yeah. literally just like not many people everything ate down. much and like when we went when we got like literally landed yeah. everyone was like right where's Greg's <laughs> like yeah. we needed our food that, that was uh, that's all I've lived off since I've come back Greg's. <laughs> I don't know why like been here for ages and I never go to Greg's I always go to McDonald's mm. but I've just been eating Greg margarita pizza <laughs> so. it's so good to I know I like um, I miss food <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna ask you what it was your highlight of the trip only one moment that you oh, would say oh that's so hard there's so many <laughs> i know i don't know if like i think mine was the gym session in the outdoor area like the the area was like amazing yeah and i just felt like so happy i don't know if that was the same for everyone <laughs> else but like i just really enjoyed that oh i'm not so proper think about <laughs> this one there was there was so much it's like some sometimes you can't even remember or like, like the match i think maybe the match was mine yeah. Oh, I don't know because I really like <laughs> like the stadium. Yeah, the stadium was good. There's just, do you know, like when there were like moments where we were all generally like, or like m- most of us were a bit like, mm, I don't know if we've come back or not. But do you know when you actually look back, it's like you had such a good time and yeah. stuff like that. They, yeah. There were like little bits where you're like, oh, but it's like overall it was like it was so, so nice, good. Yeah. But I think I've got to say the match. Yeah, I, the match I was, was so amazing. happy the way we played. Yeah, honestly, I was buzzing afterwards. I was so happy. I wish played. ours were recorded. I know because I think that match was my best match of the season as well, and that was Same. literally my last match that I've played this season. I think everyone felt com- more confident in yourself because you know you're not gonna get judged on your performance exactly. whether you can play the next game or not. Yeah, this was literally a one-time awful. thing. Yeah. You enjoy it and you go for it. So yeah, I think like. Yeah, the only downside to it was that it wasn't recorded, but we were like I know, trying I so wish every it single way to try and yeah. get it recorded. But we yeah, had Zayzay with hand. camera, yeah, and then Zayzay had to come on. So then I don't think anyone recorded no. it. then. Oh, but oh my goodness, the photographer. The photographer was so. She good. was so good. The photos are so nice. Mm. Like it, like edited professional perfectly photos. as well. Yeah. There's a. F- oh, I'm obsessed with this one from the A team. It's Fern. And this other girl going for a header, mm. but it's like, I think it's both of them backwards, and you can see them reach for the header, and yeah. it looks so good. Yeah, like yeah. I said to Finn, I went, that better go all over social media. <laughs> it's so good. Like the editing on it and the lighting was just amazing. Yeah. So obviously next year, um, because I'm in year thirteen, I'm not gonna be here, but you might go on the trip again. Yeah. Because uh, uh, Millie's in year twelve. So, what would you recommend for next year if you had to change one thing? what would you recommend however it be like the place doing it with a different team or like if you did it again what would you want mm. um i feel like the place like do you know because if you go back you just could be like oh well you know everything here mm. and stuff like that there'll be new stuff to do as well like like just moving the place changes so many things mm. like what you can do in the evening and like um like the view you get and everything yeah. like that and the activities outside of the football yeah that you can do so but i'd defo as well i'd have like a bit more like 
free time like, yeah quite a few people said that I yeah because although like everything was fun it's like you've got a pool right in front of you you know what yeah. i mean like, <laughs> although it's not a holiday like you want to like go in the pool don't you yeah because like, everyone was so tired i think that like bit of time were like needed yeah and i think a lot of people said that they wanted more time in general because we were there yeah. for like three days everyone was yeah. like i love all these activities but mm. doing them continuously yeah. and one after each other it's like we yeah kind of wanted a week to do all of them yeah so like when was it the lads went on they had three nights mm. and we only had two but that's because when we um were coming to malaga mm. i think it got planned more later because it was supposed to be a lot more warmer yeah um, but obviously the temperature, I don't know what happened to the temperature because it's not like chucking it down and thundering. But so we had such late like kickoffs and yeah. then the drive back, so we literally couldn't go out after. Mm. So it'd be nice to have them three nights, you know. Yeah. So because I feel like you're two nights, you don't really explore everything around that little bit because mm. you first go to somewhere where it's familiar and stuff like that. Yeah. So, yeah. But yeah, that was our little. Malaga trip. Yeah. <laughs> we really enjoyed it. Um I hope you guys enjoyed yeah. us talking about it and yeah. hopefully if you're coming to our college next year you might be able to go on it. Yeah. Um it's so worth it. Is, it. It's so worth it. Like I'm definitely going again next yeah. year. That's one thing for <laughs> Cause sure. I didn't go last year, like I enjoyed it so yeah. much this year and everyone was just buzzing. Yeah. So whatever you think about yeah. Princess College definitely well, do. Is there what's it? Yeah. Well, they'll be 13 next year, so year 13 lads get to experience next year. Mm. And then, obviously, we only went up because there's not enough of there's not you enough lot. Girls, yeah. So, like, depending on how many numbers of us that are going mm. next year, possibly the year 12, yeah. might be able to go up as well. Yeah. So you get, like, we're lucky to have two years yeah, on that. Because that that it's such an experience, because normally you pay a lot more yeah. to go on, like, a group holiday. Yeah, Because it is, it is generally, like, not obviously, like, fully but it is like a bit of a girls holiday where you get to like explore and yeah. stuff like that with your yeah, friends definitely. it's so nice it is um but yeah guys that is it for today um make sure to like and subscribe share on spotify listen to us on apple music watch us on youtube and we'll see you later